Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. I am certainly tired because it's like 5 in the morning, but honestly, whatever. So, today we're going to be looking at a brand new figure, and this is Stefan Wolf from the new Justice League movie, which honestly, if you guys saw the movie, I would really like to know what you guys thought of it. Honestly, I absolutely loved that movie. Like, it was like, what, four hours long? I enjoyed every second of that movie. <laughs> um, absolutely loved it more than the the original. So glad they went back and did it. And um, honestly, like Stephen Wolf was like such a forgettable character in the original, and with this version, absolutely loved it. So awesome. Really do love the way his style, like the way he looks, is just amazing. Um, and I'm so glad we got him in figure form. Now, I would so love to collect all of the Justice League figures. There's, like, you got, like, the main characters and, uh, a dark side. But I don't think I'll be able to. Um, but I would love to get maybe Batman and Superman and dark side. And those are probably the only ones I'd probably get, um, which sucks. But I would absolutely love to have these guys. So... But we have here Stefan Wolf. You can see him right here in the packaging. Now, the packaging is not different than any of the other, um, any of the uh, other DC ones. So as you can see, we have the Batman one here. But as you can see, it is far bigger than the uh, Batman one. Also, it's it's a pretty thick box. So. We just put that down. You can see he got um, the Justice League logo right there, a 2021. You got Stephen Wolf Justice League. Um, you also have a very beautiful looking picture of him right here, and you also get some. Um, let's see if I can do this. Wait, we're gonna do that. You also get some characters that you get as well. You get Aquaman, Batman, Cyborg, Flash, Superman. I is that it? I think there's a Wonder Woman as well, but I'm not sure. You also get Darkseid and Stephen Wolf. I again, I think the only ones I would get is Batman and Stephen or Batman, Superman, and Darkseid. Um, but yeah, on this side you pretty much get the DC multiverse. You get Stephen Wolf right there. So, without further ado, let us get into this figure. And, uh, yeah, let's just see what he's all about and what issues I have to complain about. So, let's pop this bad boy off, put the box down, open him from that. Let's slide this bad boy out. Kinda. He's pretty big, so it's kind of... Same thing with his axe. Alright. Let's set that down. And let's go. Let's set this guy all up. And we'll take a closer look at him. Well, yeah, with Stefan Wolf right here in front of us, he absolutely looks amazing. Uh, if we can get a better look at him with a little bit brighter light. He looks amazing. Absolutely love the way he looks. He's very, very shiny. Absolutely love it. Um, just the sculpting on him is just so good. He's such a awesome looking figure. Um, absolutely love just like pretty much a lot about him. Uh, the face does look absolutely gorgeous. Um, the eyes are pretty much staring right at you. It's pretty good. Uh, along with all the armor bits, really do love all the, uh, little spikes there. They could have been done a tiny bit better, but honestly, it does look really nice. Um, but it does look super, super nice. Absolutely love the way it looks. Um, especially his hands. His hands look so weird. It's like one, two, three, four, five, seven. I'm tired. <laughs> Um, he's got seven fingers, which is super weird, but it does look really cool. Um, 
honestly just the way this guy looks is so amazing absolutely love it but as you can see he does have some problems well number one of his problems is his feet so as you just saw it's super hard to stand him up with um without his stand and even with his stand it's pretty difficult as well but with these little toe bends very odd place to have them um they're kind of loose so trying to get him standing is kind of hard to do unless you get it just right you probably could but it does take a little bit of time and honestly that kind of sucks um especially what, what was he like 40 40 bucks um that's not too bad but um that is still a lot and uh they should have did something a little bit better but at least you do get a stand so that's pretty okay um and it does help quite a bit but not really that what not really that much so if you have him plugged in, you can kind of try your best to stand him up, but it doesn't really help really that much. He, his just feet does not work that well. Another one of his little problems is kind of posability, um, which we'll talk about right now. Uh, let's just try to take his axe out of his hand, which is pretty tight. It's really in there uh, when you get his... It's just really in there, but posability is not too bad. Uh, he can look up that far, down that far. He can do a full 360 with his head, which is pretty good. He can go kind of side to side. It's kind of an unlimited ball joint, so he can pretty much go all around. It does look really nice. Um, with his arms, you can pull them out and twist it around, which honestly, they do feel loose. That does feel pretty loose but it's not that bad uh, he also has some rotation at this part as well he has a bend at the elbow he has a very tight bend at this hand uh, it can go up and out but it does look weird because that little part sticks out very odd um, but yeah, the arms do feel just a little loose, to be honest, which kind of sucks. Uh, he does have a waist posability on both ends, right here and here. Um, trying to pose it is kind of hard because you do get this weird gap right in here. But that's not too bad because this does cover it up. Um, the legs can move out pretty much that far. Pretty much go back and forward. And there is a bend at the knee. For foot posability, you can go up and down. And there's not really a pivot at all with the foot. Um, which is like, okay. There's really not. There's like no pivot at all, if you could see that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much just a hinge joint and a move. And a side to side. There's no pivot at all and he also has individual toe bends which we did talk about so the posability is not too bad you can't really get him into crazy poses and he does have very loose joints it seems to have he seems to have with his feet uh with his arms and that kind of sucks but he does have some pretty i mean the paint is um, i'm still tired so he does have some pretty nice um, paint, uh, but he is lacking in some places. For example, his axe is honestly really nice looking, but it does look a little plain. There's not really too much shine with it, um, but it does look like it's shining on camera, but in, in kind of regular, the way I'm seeing it, it's just pretty dull looking, you know? Um, especially with all this detailing in here, they should have did a little bit more dry brushing, but, uh, other than that, it does look pretty nice. It's not too bad. And you can also, like, kind of pop it off this part here, 
if you wanted to. I don't see why you would, but now you got like two separate parts, but but there's something that you can do with it. You pop that right back on. Um and the lacking of paint on this guy, it's not too bad. He does have some spots that's missing. Number one being on this hand. Um, if you could see that, uh, let's use this, that this finger is not painted for some reason. Um, in front of I'm seeing all the other fingers are, so that's like the only one. Uh, the face doesn't look that bad, but there is some mispaint, paint, as you can see. You can't really see it, but you can kind of notice it, like, in person. But he is missing some paint here at the uh, cheek and a lot right here. It looks very plain. As you can see, there's, like, a difference between the paint here and the paint here. Um, that kind of sucks, but it's not too bad. Um, and they tried to do it with this one, but just kind of forgot about these little parts here but they did paint this part right here um other than that the painting is not too bad um i think it's pretty nice and another thing which i kind of see why they went this way but it does look a little off is the spikes the spikes are not even spikes really they're just little things sticking out which is not too bad because I mean if they were spikes you'd probably be like stabbing yourself holding this guy but um I don't know it's not too bad um but other than that it's a pretty decent figure getting them into poses is honestly not too bad but it does kind of suck with the the feet movability um so it's not really the best to be honest but once you get him into some nice poses, he pretty much does stay, but uh, he probably will topple over soon. But he does look super nice looking. I think even with all his flaws, he does have a really nice presence. Absolutely do love the way he looks. Um, and it will be kind of cool to get some of the Justice League figures to kind of go with him. So overall, I don't really... Um, I don't really think this figure is bad at all. Absolutely love the way he looks. He is such an amazing figure, and that shine does look really nice. He's just lacking in some places, and wish he could be just a tiny bit better, but um, it's not too bad. And um, just wish the joints were a little bit uh, smoother and a little tighter. Uh, same along with the feet and maybe the paint just a tiny bit better along with the spikes but other than that those are just tiny little nitpicks uh he is honestly a very nice figure and honestly it gets me really excited for dark side and the other justice league figures but i do know that um the mcfarland toys are not really too best in quality i mean they look amazing don't get me wrong but just kind of like in posability wise or in maybe paint it's not too bad but sculpting they always knock it out of the park and absolutely love this figure um such a really really nice figure again absolutely love it he also does come with his own little card here which gives him the which has the look from the back of the box on it does look super nice and on the back, he's got some files as well, just telling you more about him. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Nothing really too much to talk about. Hopefully, I'll get my hands on the dark side and then maybe uh, a Batman and Superman to go with him. But other than that, I do think that's pretty much it. And for height-wise, he is pretty much bigger than the uh, Doom Slayer from Doom Eternal, and that's pretty cool. I don't have really anything else to compare them with right now. Um, don't have any Legends figures open, and I don't really feel like opening them right now, but he does look super nice. So, um, pretty much to wrap this up, absolutely love this figure. Such a very nice looking figure, um, just with the slight issues. And I think that's pretty much it. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did find this kind of informable, I guess. Just let me guys let me know what you guys think of the movie and what you guys think of the figure overall. And if you do have this figure, tell me how yours is because 
mine is not too bad, but I want to see if everyone else's has the same problems or worse. Um, and if you are picking up the figure, hopefully this kind of helps you decide if it's the right choice or not. Honestly, I do think it's not too bad if you really do like the film, but he does have some problems. Just keep that in mind. And, um, yeah, because I have seen, the there was two uh, Stefan Wolfs at my Target. And that's pretty much where you can find him at Target. Um, and his sculpting was the, pretty much the same, but this face, uh, his cheekbones, one was more extended out than the other. So it did look a little off. So my guess is just try to find the best looking one. And hopefully it's not that bad. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys hopefully in maybe a dark side or... Batman, Superman, we'll see. Um, but hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time.